Uh, finally, on the top side here, we'll talk about this contactor section, your, your contactor and limit switch and brake rectifier. But I think it's better shown over on this hoist here. So I've, uh, of course, taken those, uh, loosened the bolts before we got ready to go here. And you'll notice here, uh, you have uh, in one nice module here, uh, you have all your contactors. Now, one thing to note is every GS hoist has a mainline contactor, a true mainline contactor. So every hoist comes with a, an e-stop push button, and every e-stop is tied to a true mainline contactor. There's other hoists out there that don't have actual mainline contactors. Sometimes you'll see they're just simply using the e-stop to break the control line, but we're actually breaking an actual, we're actually making and breaking a mainline contactor with that e-stop. So you notice here, the majority of our hoist uh, offering is all Group Schneider contactors. So widely available, widely recognized, and you can either buy them from Gorbel, we have plenty of stock, or you can buy them at your local uh, electrical supply house. Some of the smaller hoist bodies do have a little more specific uh, contactor, but we have those readily available in plenty of quantities here at Gorbel, and we can ship them out to you anytime. So one thing you'll notice here is these, these uh, contactors can be replaced individually uh, if they were ever needed to be replaced. But also you'll see there's two pieces of hardware on either side of this module. You could actually replace this entire module uh, in one fell swoop and then you would actually replace all your contactors. You replace your brake rectifier and you'd replace your limit switches all at one shot. So that's actually a service strategy. If you wanted to do that, the service techs could actually have these available on the trucks, change them out wholesale, and then rebuild these back at the shop, or they, could, or they could order the individual pieces and just replace them. So again, for serviceability, you've got lots of options. And also note that all of our, uh, our spare parts are very, very reasonably priced. You'll never get a quote on a simple chain guide or a, a contact or anything in the hoist that's gonna be ha a third or half the cost of your total hoist. So we don't, we, we focus on being fair, reasonable, have a great high quality hoist. It's very, very serviceable. So uh, one of the other things we wanna talk about, and I mentioned it before when we were talking about our chain guide, is these two limit switches here are physically the limit switches. Now, if you move in close, you can actually see as I press the limit switches, and this would be, this is where the chain bag would normally attach. And then this here is the lower limit switch here. As I press this, you'll see this actuator, which again is the, uh, only the actuator from this uh, chain guide, stainless steel heavy duty spring. That stainless steel actuator is actuating the spring here. However, and I've already removed three of these screws, I'll take this out and I'll drop down the chain guide. It's this simple to remove the chain guide. And then uh, you'll notice these actuators are not the physical limit switch. So your, your limit switches are very well protected inside the hoist body, but yet can be replaced just by removing the back cover. So you don't need to break into the chain guide to replace the limit switch. They're readily uh, accessible here and replaceable from here, but actuated by the plungers on the, the stainless steel plungers on the chain guide. So again, very serviceable, very durable, great design.